Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, kind of a short video on movies and TVs on the ball. Steve coming at you and one of the films that I would love to cover one day, kind of in its, in its entirety, is Sharknado, which, you know, really kind of brought the sci-fi uh, movie into sort of the uh, conscience eye where, you know, it was... You know, a B movie, and it's kind of a film that most people probably, you know, don't, you know, kind of, kind of laugh at and go, "Oh, it's a stupid film with Sharknado." But after kind of looking at films done by Roger Corman, who was sort of the B movies, B movies uh, films such as, uh, you know, those kind of really cheesy films with like spiders and stuff and you know you know Roger Corman really kind of started the whole whole sci-fi original movie or you know he pioneered it uh my thoughts are on Sharknado which one of the films that I feel like is how can a franchise where you go okay take a tornado idea and sharks and you put them together and you make it into a uh, a cult series classic they have five of these i think maybe even six of these films and i watched the first one with my mom and my mom thought it was one of the stupidest films ever but after kind of watching a documentary called corbin's world which was which was about roger corman as a you know kind of a pioneer for the b-movie films i kind of really have a sort of love of it because I mean there was I've seen reviews of it where they go how the hell can you take an idea where you take tornadoes and sharks and you put them into a film franchise in a film that's completely ridiculous I mean how one of the guys who was in Beverly Hills 90210 gets eaten by the shark but takes the chainsaw and cuts himself out of the shark which was pretty ridiculous but awesome in the same way but you know Sharknado really kind of Sharknado uh, Sharknado really brought something to the plot where you know it's ridiculous I think one of the sharks get or one of the one of the sharks eats uh, one of the guys and he ends up cutting himself out of the shark which was amazing but Sharknado is one of those you know I think how is one of those franchises that goes how do you really come up with two ridiculous ideas and make five or even six films of these but of these films I just know that you know there were you know you had the first one had Tara Reid and the guy from 90210 like I mentioned before and they were a couple and they have a kid or a daughter and I just remember there was a scene where they try to fight I mean they try to you know fight the uh, sharks with the chainsaw but I really enjoyed the Sharknado films for what they were because you know for a sci-fi film it really made it work for what it is but let me know what your thoughts on Sharknado uh, the Sharknado films, I will be looking at them soon, kind of give you more of an uh, inside look at them. Maybe I'll find some on Netflix or Amazon and just watch them and review them, but I just was wondering, kind of more of this is more of a question. What are your thoughts on the Sharknado films? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you feel like they're ridiculous? Do you feel like, you know, after maybe like me, who I've kind of seen kind of the way B movies work that um, yeah, there's more of an appreciation for these B movies such as Sharknado but let me know in the comments below and as always like and subscribe and see you at the movies also I would like to say that you know Sharknado probably gives this um, heart to jaw you know gives this idea to Jaws without Jaws I don't think Sharknado would work but anyway See you at the movies. Bye.